everyone, it's Lisa. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to make this adorable little, it's a US mail little postal box design with the milk carton. It's actually a milk carton die using the scallop top milk carton box from the Stamps of Life. I thought this would be so cute for Valentine's Day, making this into a little mailbox. So you can see I'm just turning it around just so you can see what this looks like. It says US mail and I put a little flag here. I thought that was super cute. And it's closed here up at the top by just a little paper clip. And then you can open this up and you can put your treats for Valentine's Day right inside. Now you can decorate this box any way you want. You don't have to make it a US mailbox, but I wanted to just show you how to use this die because this would be a perfect die that you can use for giving Valentine's Day treats. So the die we're using is the scallop top milk carton box from the Stamps of Life, and it includes all of these dies. So you have your large die to make your milk carton. You have this layering die, which is what I used here on the patterned paper. You also have some other fun dies that are included. So you have some polka dots. This will cut polka dots into the paper. And then you have a heart, a flower, a couple more flowers, and a tag. So the dies that we're gonna be using are going to be this large die. We're also gonna be using a layering die. And then for this flag, I actually used the mailbox die. This is from the Happy Mail to Stamp dies. So I used that mailbox die to create my flag and just cut it down. I thought that would be the easiest thing to do, but if you don't have this mailbox die, you can easily just cut some paper down and attach it for a flag for your mailbox. So to make this milk carton, I took the largest die in the set and I die cut a piece of guava cardstock from the Stamps of Life. I also took this panel die that came in the milk carton box set and I die cut some pattern paper. This pattern paper is from the With Love collection, which was part of the December 2020 card kit from the Stamps of Life. It was the um, paper that had the love bugs, which I think that is my favorite paper collection. So the first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and add these panels to all four sides of my milk carton. Now, when you're adding your panels, you wanna make sure that the part with the triangular cutouts is at the bottom because that's the bottom of your box. So I have directional paper here, so I wanna make sure my hearts are in the right direction. So the part with the scallops, that's the top of your box. So make sure you're putting your pattern paper in the right direction. All right, the next thing I'm gonna do is I wanna stamp out the US mail stamp. And that stamp is from the postage to stamp set from the Stamps of Life. So I'm gonna use that US mail stamp and stamp that directly on to my milk carton. And it's easiest to do this before you actually glue this box together. So here you have four sections. I'm stamping it on the second section and the fourth section. So the one that has the triangular um, score lines, you're not doing the stamp on, okay? So, but the one that does not have the score lines, you're just gonna stamp it right in the middle. Next, we are going to start folding on the score lines. So I'm just gonna fold on the score lines at the bottom of the box. I'm gonna fold on the score lines at the top of the box. And at the top of the box, there are two sets of score lines, so make sure you get both of them. And then there's also these triangular score lines. So just take your finger and just kind of pinch on those triangular, triangular shapes there so you can make, this is where the top of the milk carton will close. So we're just gonna pinch there. All right, next we're gonna do the flag. So we're gonna go ahead and attach the flag and put a little um, brad in there to hold that together. So what I've done is I've taken a piece of grape cardstock from the Stamps of Life and I took the shadow die from my mailbox dies. This is actually from the Happy Mail to Stamp set and I die cut the shadow layer out of the grape cardstock, and then I die cut this piece, which is the layering piece, just to get this little heart. 
and that's out of the same color as the base there. But I'm gonna wait to apply that until I get my little flag on attached to my milk carton. So this is what it gives you after you die cut the shadow dye. And it actually looks like a mailbox, but I don't want it to look like a mailbox. I want it to look more like a flag. So I'm just gonna manipulate this a little bit by coming here at where this diagonal line, this diagonal um, in the mailbox is, and I'm gonna come with my scissors and I'm just going to cut to the top and then I'm actually gonna cut across. Actually, I'm gonna bring this up a little bit higher because where this point is in the mailbox, that's where I'm gonna cut straight across. So let me go ahead and start with that point. And I'm gonna cut straight across until I get to the stand. And then I'm gonna come back down here and I'm just going to trim up. Okay, so there's that part. And then I'm gonna come here on this side and I'm just going to trim straight up because I don't need that part there on the back. So just trim straight up just to make sure that this is completely straight. Okay, and then here I'm just gonna make this straight. So I'm just gonna come up on this side and just bring that straight up. Okay, so there is my flag. Now I am gonna trim this down just a little bit because I don't need it so long. So I'm just gonna trim that part off and that's what's left. Now, if you do not have that mailbox die, don't worry, you can still do this concept. You would just have to cut down a piece of cardstock into a rectangle and then you'd have to have a little stand here, so you cut another piece of cardstock, you'd have to layer them on. So I didn't wanna have that layered look, so I just went with that. I knew I had that die, so that was what was easiest for me. So I'm gonna go ahead and attach my heart, and that's just gonna go right to the center. So next I'm gonna go ahead and put a hole here in my milk carton so that I can add the brad and add my mailbox. So you will need a brad and I have just a little box of these brads from the Stamps of Life. These are very small brads. I don't know where I got them, probably from a card kit or I don't know, some, somewhere, but these are very tiny brads. So because I have a tiny brad, I need to use a smaller hole and a standard hole punch has a larger hole. So I'm gonna bring in my crocodile because there are two hole sizes on this. I have an eighth inch hole on one side and on the opposite side, I have a 3 16th hole, which is much larger, has a much larger hole. So I'm gonna use my 1 8 inch hole and I'm going to just center my mailbox right in the center of this panel. This is the panel that has this little flap here on the side. Okay, so just center it where you want it. And then you're gonna come in with your hole punch or your crocodile and just punch a little hole. And if you need to, just push this panel right under. If, it's, if you can't get your hole punch in all the way, just push that panel right under and then punch your hole. So next I'm gonna take my brad and I'm just gonna stick it in the hole, flip this over, and then open the back side to secure it to the cardstock. Now I did find that when I used a larger hole punch that my mailbox, because of the small brads I'm using, my mailbox was not staying snug against the cardstock. It was kind of just flopping everywhere. So if you find that happening, you might need to make your hole smaller or get a different brad. Okay, so next, we're gonna go ahead and put some glue here on this flap. So I'm gonna take this, take my glue bottle, just add some glue all the way to the top, and then just add the other panel to join them. Just press down and then we're gonna fold in the bottom and we're gonna add glue to make this bottom secure. So I'm gonna fold two flaps in and then I'm going to add glue to the back of the top two flaps. 
Okay, so I'm gonna put that on my table and just press my glue bottle right inside just to kind of press those and keep those together. Okay, and now I'm ready to fold in the top. So just like with a milk carton, you're just going to fold in at the triangle on both sides. Just move your flag out of the way. Okay. And then once you have it folded, you can just take a clothespin. I got these cute little clothespins at Michael's in the Valentine's Day section and just hold that together. So you really don't wanna glue the top together because whoever's receiving this, you want them to be able to open and take out all the treats that are inside. So put your treats in and then just close it with a clothespin. And then you can decorate it. So if you wanted to decorate it any additional way, you can go ahead and do that. So I have these, part of that paper pad, the With Love Collection, had all, had a had a piece of pattern paper that had all this cute little mail on it. And what I've done is I have just decided that I was just going to cut some of this mail to use on my box. I thought this was adorable since this is supposed to be like a little mailbox. I thought these little mail pieces and I love the colors, they match the paper so perfectly. So I went ahead and I cut a bunch of little mail pieces. Now if you don't have that paper and you wanted little mail pieces, maybe you have the love bugs to stamp. I believe there was a mail piece in that stamp set, but I just thought these were so adorable. So I'm gonna apply glue to the back of them and I'm gonna put them at the bottom of where it says US Mail on each side. Isn't that adorable? Love that, it's like the little mail fell on the ground in front of the mailbox. <laughs> so there's the other side, I've done them both. So next I'm gonna take this cute little love bug. This is part of the pattern paper as well. I'm just going to fussy cut around because I want to use this little love bug on my mailbox. And there are dies that go with these. However, this particular love bug is smaller than the original die. And this paper pad actually has larger love bugs that you can die cut out using those shadow dies from the love bugs to stamp set. But again, this one I chose because it's a little bit smaller and it fits better on this little milk carton. I just wanna show you real quick the difference in size. This, this is the one that you can die cut out using your shadow dies, and this one is much smaller. So that's the one I'm choosing to use, and since I already have the flag on that side, I'm gonna add this little love bug to this side. I think that'll be so cute. And then the last thing I'm gonna do is just add a little piece of twine like I did here up at the top. So I just tied this twine in a bow and I have a little glue dot there on my finger. So I'm just gonna put a glue dot on the back side of that. And I'm going to add that to the top of the milk carton. And then I'm just gonna trim this just a little bit. Isn't that adorable? Oh my gosh, I think that is so cute. So there are my little mailboxes made out of the milk carton die. I thought that was so adorable. And then you can just put treats inside and give these as a little Valentine gift. So if you have any questions or comments, please let me know and be sure to subscribe for more tutorials from me. Have a great day, everyone. Bye-bye.